When the journey begins, you never quite know who's going to be there at the end. Now only two teams left in the cup, and we're left wondering who's going to be lifting it. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live from Madrid here on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Barcelona facing Real Madrid. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. And what a game we have in store for us. Whatever way you slice it, Robert Lewandowski is a goal-scoring force of nature. What sort of performance do you expect to see from him, Stuart? Yeah, he's the club's leading scorer and he's so difficult to negate. But I'm sure these defenders will have a game plan for him. Whether it works or not, we'll have to wait and see. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Santi Roberto plays with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. Tony Kors intercepting it intelligently. Pedri Fati. Sometimes the defender reads your mind. That's what happened to Lewandowski. And he's broken free. Oh, it's in. Real Madrid make the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Barcelona restart the game. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? Ansu Fati. Now Jordi Alba. Sergio Busquets. Moving it forward. Can they square the game? Really high-class goalkeeping from Courtois. Favouring the short one. And Lewandowski waiting. Not a bit short with the clearance. It might be on for them. De Jong must score 
And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Kamavinga just can't seem to get out of their own half and that's down to the pressure De Jong he'll take this on oh it comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened not a foul but the advantage with Real Madrid and take it away moving into the advanced position has eyes for goal well it could have been a better effort and I think we were all expecting it would be Vinicius, here's Kroos, might be a chance here, can they stop it going in? An alert piece of defending. Rafinha. Well, that save could be the turning point here, because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Danger averted. Paid to be. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Tony Kroos. Benzema. Not a pass that lacks quality. Vinicius oh and the crossbar getting in the way and a goal kick coming up Well, no surprise there. Barcelona have enjoyed most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. De Jong. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Inching towards half time, Real Madrid hold the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half time if it stays like this. Karim Benzema. Textbook defending inside the box. Paid to be. Vinicius Jr. Not the pass he had in mind. Oh, 
Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Running with the ball confidently. Robert Lewandowski in the middle. A decisive clearance it was. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. Back underway with Barca hoping to find an effective route back into the game. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Cross and cross. Failed to hold it. Rafinha. Now Busquets. Here's Rafinha. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1-1 one, one here. Frankie de Jong. Barcelona have given us away. Mendy. Benzema. It's a good looking ball in behind. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Not a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. unable to get his cross beyond the first defender Frankie de Jong now they've lost it Vinicius Junior well he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much well, we have 30 minutes to go Eduardo Camavinga Benzema, Mendy, Benzema, well he read that brilliantly at the back, Carvajal, well it leads to the goal that puts them ahead, a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it, And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, over the top, but it will go through to the keeper. Promising move from Barcelona. Dembele's in the centre. Well dealt with that ball comfortably. Into the final 20 minutes. 
Vinicius Junior. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Can he put it away? Oh, and it goes to propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. Here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Sergio Busquets on to De Jong extremely sloppy in possession Benzema Jordi Alba and now Sergio Roberto wanted to keep it but couldn't Barcelona Sergio Roberto Karim Benzema just the challenge that was required well there's still scope for late drama here five minutes left and just one goal between the sides they all know their roles as they apply the pressure Jordi Alba. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Carvajal. This looks threatening. Benzema. He'll try his luck here. And it's come off the keeper. And a time for calm on the ball. Pedri. Read it superbly to take back possession. Chances on. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.